Ladies and gentlemen, and we are back with another installment of Smash Your Pass. We have not done this in a very, very, very long time, and I'm very excited to give you all another installment. And I was thinking to myself, how, oh how should I do another Smash Your Pass? I mean, I've done so many of them. You know, I even put up a community tab, and it was more or less repetitive stuff that I've already been through. And I was thinking, well, since Mass Effect is out and it's been remastered, I thought, why not make a redone version of the one that I did? Because I made a previous Smasher Pass and I wasn't really satisfied with it. So I thought, why not make a legendary edition of my own? And a Smasher Pass version of Mass Effect! <laughs> that would be awesome! So now we're doing a Smasher Pass Mass Effect Legendary Edition. I'll be going through most if not all the female characters throughout the trilogy. So sorry to all you Andromeda fans. Characters that are in Andromeda will not be making an appearance on this one, but I might make a separate video if I get enough requests and if it's demanded enough. But without further ado, let's jump into the fine find sexy characters throughout the Mass Effect saga. Now, I will be rating them on character quality as well, because I'm not just gonna smash them for their looks. It was all about looks that I think most on this list would get smashed. But we're also gonna be judging them on their character quality as well, so that'll affect how I will be doing this. So let's just jump into this. All right, here we go. So the first on our list is the Consort Shaira. Ah, uh, the Consort Shaira. Um, this is kind of awkward because I just started playing Mass Effect, the Legendary Edition, not too long ago, and uh, I kind of, I kind of already smashed her. <laughs> Close your eyes and relax, Commander. Whoa! What is going? Oh! Oh! Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Get a piece of that ass. Ah! Whoa! Damn, boom, oh, so that's what we use it for. <laughs> so it, it's, it would make no sense for me to pass on her now when we just kind of did the, uh, the deed. So, smash on Shaira? You know, I, 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 I can't be a hypocrite here. I can't just say, you know, don't smash and, and pass on her right now when I just smashed her in the, in the game. So, yeah, yeah, smash on Shaira, yeah. Boy, this is awkward. All right, moving on. We have our very own Gabby Daniels. I like Gabby. Gabby is a fun character. I, I enjoy her and, and Donnelly. They're, they're great together. Um... I kind of feel bad because it's obvious those two are kind of, you know, a couple-like and, you know, she's like the brains of the operation, like keeps the group together. And I think she's very underrated. It's always a pleasure seeing those two talk and interact whenever I would go down the second part of the Normandy and just seeing them interact. You're the best, Commander. We just got those FBA couplings installed. Now we only have to calibrate every week instead of every day. We're thinking about celebrating our newfound free time with some Skillion 5 poker. Want to join us? Come on, Kenneth. The commander doesn't want to play cards with grease monkeys like us. Actually, that sounds interesting. Fantastic. I'll get the cards. My Skellion 5's a bit rusty. You'll be easy on the rookie, right? Of course, Commander. It's all friendly. Yeah, right. Be gentle on the rookie. I can't believe we fell for that. It's so worth losing to see you taken down a notch. Beat me up my own game. You're all right, Shepard. It was really fun, nice, and seeing them. I like her character. And she came back to us in Mass Effect 3, and she was able to work with Engineer Adams. And I re I just really overall enjoy her character. She's very fun, and she's smashable. She's cute. I'd smash her. Yeah, I'd smash Gabby. Yeah, yeah. Smash on Gabby Daniels. Next up, we have one of my favorite side characters. We have Kelly Chambers. <laughs> Now, I would like to enter her chambers. Come on, guys. You know I was going to make that joke. I love Kelly. She is awesome. Very supportive. She was one of those characters that made me think, like, why is she in Cerberus? She's far too nice. What are you hiding? But no, she was just a very cool, down-home girl. 
I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. Okay, Kelly. Anything else? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Oh what are my! Your responsibilities. I'll keep you notified of any messages. You want or that dick? I uh, she was. I think I romanced her. I think, like, when I didn't romance everybody else, I kind of romanced her. Well, we had like a a little afternoon session at one point. So uh, yeah, I like Kelly. I like Kelly. I was glad to see her in Mass Effect Three, assuming she survives in two. But yeah, she was fun. I enjoyed Kelly. She's actually one of my favorite little side characters, and I would definitely smash Kelly Chambers. Definitely would be entering her chambers in more ways than one. All right, next up we have one of my all-time favorite characters, Liara Tassoni. <laughs> well, I don't even. Well, as far as character quality goes, she's A. She's A tier. Uh, her growth throughout the series is just absolutely amazing. Uh, she's one of the best romances you can get. Uh, aside from a few other characters, but she's one of my all-time favorite romances. Uh, I love her story, how she just was a young archaeologist, then she became like this. She became like this, uh, much like her mother, Benezia. She became very um, domineering. She was like a information broker. She's the reason why we're alive in Mass Effect 2, because she's the one that recovered our body. And she had to go through this whole... It's all in the comics, but basically, Shadow Broker stole Shepard which is us, and then gave it over to Cerberus, and yada yada yada, but long story short, she's the reason why we're alive, and I love her for it. on Ilium wasn't exactly subtle. Extreme, but necessary. No, it wasn't. Neither was caging Ferrin for two years. Dr. Tassoni, your interference caused all this. Ferrin betrayed me when he handed you Shepard's body. The Drell is simply paying the price. Someone was bound to come after you for working with the Collectors. It was a mutually beneficial partnership. Your arrival is convenient. The Collector's offer still stands. Be smart. Let Farron walk out with us. You won't be walking out at all. You're quite confident for someone with nowhere left to hide. You travel with fascinating companions, Doctor. It's good you brought Archangel to Sony. Your friend's bounty is still unclaimed. You're not putting a hand on anyone. It's pointless to challenge me, Asari. I know your every secret. While you fumble in the dark. Is that right? You're a Yogg. A pre-space flight species quarantined to their homeworld from massacring the Council's first contact teams. This base is older than your planet's discovery. Which probably means you killed the original Shadow Broker 60 years ago, then took over. I'm guessing you were taken from your world by a trophy hunter who wanted a slave. Or a pet. How am I doing? Damn, Liar, get him! Or piss him off to the point where he wants to kill me! Ah! He was gonna kill you anyways. Damn it, check out Garrus! <laughs> I just wanna point out, I like, I like when he was talking about Arclight. Garrus is like, I'm gonna kill him! <laughs> Archangel, actually, but I'll handle it. Ugh. Uh, great shields. The shield's kinetically sensitive. Energy and projectiles are bouncing off. Yeah, I guess we're doing this the old fashioned way. Ah! Ha! Capatrick! Ouch! Okay, that hurt. Ow! Yeah. 
I'm ready, Liara. Let's do it. Time to slide. Woo! Liara, now! Bye, bitch! She's gonna rock you like a hurricane! I love that song! <laughs> oh, shit! Damn! Garrus, you were out for a while, buddy. Garrus missed out on all the action. Like, what happened? I fell asleep. We're online and awaiting instructions. Resume standard procedures. I want a status report on all operations within the next summer day. Shadow Broker, out. Well, everyone who's ever seen him in person is dead, so... You're the new Shadow Broker. It'll be nice to have access to information I can trust. Broker? I... I'm not sure I'm ready for you to call me that. I'm not sure about any of this, but I had to do it. With the Shadow Broker's information network, I can... I can give you... I can... It's over. It's finally... for two years. It's all right. It's been two years. I don't... We're different people. You have your mission and... Oh? Okay. 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 But... We should focus. Let's see what our options are. No safeguards or user restrictions. It's like he never anticipated anyone but himself being here. And it's all ours. What kind of information are we talking about? I'm not sure. I'll need to go through his files. Come back later and I'll try to have something useful for you. All I wanted was to rescue Farron, but is it wrong that part of me wants this? With the Shadow Broker's network, I can help you. Maybe I can turn this operation into something better. Don't be a stranger this time. Small chance of that. Come back soon. Now with the Shadow Broker, you have unlimited power! And then we help him become the Shadow Broker, and a whole bunch of stuff happens, and uh, as far as character quality goes, you're not gonna find a much better character than Liara to some. She's awesome, and I love to uh, put my hands on her Azura. For go you guys who uh, know what that is, the um, parts on the Asari body. Uh, yeah, definitely. Smash on Liara to Sony. Moving on. Love you, Liara. Okay, next up we have Dr. Chloe Michelle. Or is it Shell McCoy? I, I, I can't remember if it was the first or last. I'm just gonna call her Dr. Michelle because it's a lot easier. Uh, fun fact, she actually has a big crush on Garrus. Once we're aboard, we find whatever's broadcasting the Reaper signal and shut it down. Tally's our expert on Geth software. She'll be handling hacking and security. Good to have you back, Tally. And maybe with another Dextro aboard, they'll get better Turian food. As long as it's sterilized. 
Dr. Michelle did get me some dextroamino chocolate. You're welcome to it once we're back. She got you Turian chocolate? She said she saw it and thought of me. Why? Oh, nothing. Which is understandable. Kind of makes me a little jealous. Garrus getting all the ladies. But, uh, yeah, I like, I like, um, Dr. Chloe. She was fun, interesting character that we hadn't met. Uh, she helped us out. She's cute, and I'd smash her. So, there you go. Let's move on. Next up, we have Dr. Chakwas, or Karen Chakwas, if you want to go for a full name. I love Dr. Chakwas, uh, actually. She's a fine character. Another one of my favorite side characters. It was always fun having a drink with her. I have a present for you, Doc. Sarah's ice brandy? You didn't. <laughs> Thank you. I always regretted not opening that original bottle when I still could. I won't make the same mistake again. Why don't we open this bottle right here, right now, you and me? Let's drink! You crack open the bottle. I'll get the glasses. <laughs> I thought Olenko's biotic display might have broken Jenkins' back, but Jenkins pops up and yells, That was awesome! <laughs> oh, Jenkins. Soldiers like him make the Alliance great. <laughs> Shepard. A removable center. A place for a person to stop and catch her breath. Or maybe I'm just happily drunk. Would it hurt if it was simple like that for once? Here's to simply being happily drunk. I'll drink to that. I love moments like this. She's ride or die. I like that Dr. Chocolate is all about joining my cause, Shepard's cause, and it's awesome. Um, but I, I feel weird. You know, I, I'd say for her age, she looks really good for her age, but she's kind of like a mom to Shepard. So, like a mom to me, and I'd feel very weird about sleeping with her. So, yeah, that, that, that puts a dink in, in things. But I will say, she has a very sexy voice. I know the voice actor of her, and she does a very sexy voice. I will admit that. But, as far as me smasher goes, it just would feel kind of weird. So I'm going to pass on Dr. Chakwas. But as I said before, a great character. Happy to have her part of the team. Awesome. Just awesome character. Alright, let's move on. Next up, we have Matriarch Beneza. This is Liara's mother. She was also, um, like, second in command to Saren in Mass Effect 1. I gotta say, those boobs. Those boobs, though. <laughs> <laughs> wow, she's a matriarch, you know, and the, ma the matriarch stage is like the final stage of the Asari, and yeah, um, I always found her attractive, yeah. Uh, evil, but attractive, you know. I mean, she was probably indoctrinated, so that, that probably paid a factor into this, but overall, I, I kind of like Liara's mom, so I'd smash? Oh, I wonder how Liara will feel about that. Liara, wait, it is not what you think she came on to me. I swear. Oh, who am I kidding? <laughs> but yeah, I'd smash Mick Jarbaneza. Sorry, Liara. I, I just, I mean, you got them jeans. Now I see where you get it from. You can flay my mind later. And next up, we have Matriarch Athena, <laughs> which is Liara's father. <laughs> You know, it's, I like Liara's family overall. When, when I really think about it, I really do like Liara's family overall. Um, Matriarch Athena was the bartender in Mass Effect 2. We just had... I really enjoyed listening to her stories about her... Um, I believe it was her Asari mother and her dad was a Korean. And it was just interesting hearing that, knowing um, Liara's heritage, and finding out later that this is indeed fact um, Liara's father. And yeah, um, I like the character, and as far as it goes, I'd probably smash, to be honest. This is the only time where well, I'll admit that I would smash Liara's dad or someone's father. <laughs> I'm sorry, Liara, your dad looks pretty good. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, wow, I'm smashing the entire Tassoni family. Oh boy, first Liara, then the mother, then the dad. Oh boy. I am going down a slippery slope here, aren't I, guys? But yeah, uh, I like her character, so yeah, a deep and confusing smash. Move on, please. Let's move on. 
And oh, oh, mama. Now this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. You want to talk about characters. You want to talk about one of the best characters in Mass Effect. Look no further than the bad bitch herself, Arya Talok. And when I tell you she's in my top 10 best characters in Mass Effect, she's on that list. I love Arya Talok. She's played by Trinity, for God's sakes. Oh, oh I love Arya Talok. Just the personality. The respect she commands, just, and like, she's always been very neutral, she's not, she was, um, neither much an ally or friend, until like later on. Stand still! If you're looking for weapons, you're not doing a very good job. Can't be too careful with dead specters. That could be anyone wearing your face. I was told you're the person to talk to if I have questions. They're clean. Depends on the questions. You run Omega? <laughs> I am Omega. Yep. But you need more. Everyone needs more something and they all come to me. I'm the boss, CEO, queen, if you're feeling dramatic. It doesn't matter. Omega has no titled ruler and only one rule. Don't fuck with Arya. When we prove to her that we can be trusted, so much so that she even becomes a companion, a very powerful companion. Cerberus controlling the Terminus system seriously bolsters their mobility. Since taking Omega, they've spread through the galaxy. Surely the Alliance has noticed. Cut to the chase. What's your plan? Kick them out. I've amassed a fleet of Merc ships. We're going to punch through enemy lines and invade. Once we're on Omega, it's a ground war. That's why I want you. I only accept the best. Petrovsky's invasion was precise and ruthless. We'll stop at nothing to win. Sounds familiar. Shepard, I know my reputation. I know I'm hated. I ruled Omega with an iron fist. But the people were free. Their lives were theirs. I preserved that. This man took all that away and he is going to pay. Is mine again. I'll give you everything. I've got ships, mercs, Ezo, all yours for the war. What's the catch? I have objections to some of the company you keep. So you'll have to leave the Normandy and its crew behind. My crew are professionals. Let's just say I want you all to myself. She is not the one to be messed with. I even like that we even get to learn more about her backstory. Um, Arya is, is awesome. I, I, I really, that's all I can really sum her up. She's awesome. She's one of the most powerful uh, biotics I've seen in the game. Um, she is definitely worthy of a lot of praise. And just look at her. I mean, look at that. That is a body, that body's rocking. And I have to say, I have to point this out. I just, I just want to say, when it comes to her, most people do not want to mess with her. Not the Alliance. Cerberus had balls, but we took that back, and, uh, yeah. I mean, the rules of Omega goes to show. Don't fuck with Arya. Which brings me to this point. I'd like to give a quick shout-out to the man, the myth, the legend himself, Dr. Morden Solis. Look upon this man. This man is an example of what we all should be. This son of a biscuit, this smooth-talking, Clint Eastwood gunslinging son of a Solarian. This mother canucker broke Omega's one rule, and I am jealous. <laughs> I'm jealous. This man was actually able. This man actually was able to get an Arya Talok's pants. Just think about that. This man right here, Doctor Borden Solis, fast talking, gun slinging, genophage modified, manipulating, curing, whatever. He was able to get in Arya's pants, man! And I'm jealous! 
Why didn't you teach me your ways before you died? I had to have known his secrets. Oh no, he got me back. He made sure to send an audio recording letting me know that he was able to get the deed in. Omega, Sky was color of fit cam tuned to a dead fortune. Business so bad that if Volus would have sold my suit. Then trouble Doppler shifted deep Asari blue as it came through my door. Likely Elcor father. High gravity adapted in all right places. Asari said Krogan thug after her business. If could get rid of him, said she'd be grateful for all eternity. Found Krogan in slums. I love how he's doing a film noir of his of himself. I know. Nervous system. Felt redundant, nervous myself. Krogan got me in stranglehold. Used incineration attack. Got lucky. Said this was an easy job, he gasped. Guess we'd both been burned. Asari, very grateful. Could read her like open book. And as it happened, did enjoy reading. In bed. Ooh. Woke oh my. Oh my. Pearl handled Carnifex. My M98 another room. Another Black Widow standing over me. Only loose end left, she said. Her mistake. Didn't know I'd been in STG. Learned tricks dirty enough to clog a quarry and soup filter. Your barrier is very similar to your morals, I said, and threw my biotic grenade. Warped. Yeah! Some explosion. A sorry it fled back to afterlife. Felt lucky not to be an afterlife myself. Hadn't been paid, but considered self-fortunate. Had broken Omega's one rule in more ways than one. Well, so let me get this straight. I get this. Shepard, I never thought I'd enjoy having a partner. But Morden was actually able to fully get into Arya's pants. And we know Arya wanted him because she always liked him. She almost kind of alluded to him when we brought him up. I'm looking for Morden Solis. Do you know where I can find him? The Solarian Doctor? Last I heard, he was trying to help plague victims in the quarantine zone. I always liked Morden. He's as likely to heal you as he is to shoot you. I'm just, I'm, I'm mind boggled that my man Morden Solis was able to knock Arya's ankles loose. It, it, it's insane. So rest in peace to you, Morton. You will be missed. And ladies and gentlemen, I will now leave you with Morton's song by Gilbert and Sullivan. Take it away, Morton. I am the very model of a scientist Salarian. I've studied species Turian, Asari, and Batarian. I'm quite good at genetics as a subset of biology because I am an expert, which I know is a tautology. My xenoscience studies range from urban to agrarian. I am the very model of a scientist solarian. Ah, uh, I miss you, Morton. All right, moving on. Next up, oh, this is just getting so good. Now we have the psychotic biotic herself, Jack. Another one of my favorite romances. I love Jack because she makes you work for it. All the other characters, you have like this crazy chemistry, but with Jack, she's like this tortured soul that you you have to understand, and she really makes you work for her romance. And let's be honest, I, I just love Jack. She's so powerful. She's interesting. Her character growth in Mass Effect 3 was awesome. Her look in Mass Effect 3 is awesome, and whew, oh, what I wouldn't give, what I would not give to see her and Miranda go at it. But we never got that. I always support friendship, and I always support fighting. The sexual tension between those two was amazing, but as I said, Jack is awesome and uh, smashable, obviously. Big smash on, on Jack, one of my favorite characters, so yes, smash in any way she wants. Mm, Jackie Roo, how you doing? Let's move on. Speaking of Miranda, <laughs> we have Miranda, <laughs> wow. How you doing? Now, as far as character goes, I love Miranda. I think she's great. Um, she had really good development throughout uh, 2 and 3. Um, learning about her sister. Overall, her genetics, her dad. Oh, yeah, she has daddy issues, guys. So, uh, good luck with that. But don't worry, we solved it in uh, Mass Effect 3. But there's a big reason why everybody loves Miranda. I wonder why. I need to relocate my sister's family before it's too late. I wonder what could possibly be the reason why everybody likes Miranda so much. What do you know about your sister? I just can't put my fingers on it. 
I heard a rumor. Maybe more that my father is working on something for the elusive man. Something big. It's on the tip of my tongue, but I don't know. Exactly. Whatever's going on with your father can't be good. Yes. Ladies, I see we've all gotten enough to drink. Relax, Shepard. I'm not gonna smear the walls with her this time. And I couldn't possibly think of anything worse to do to her than that haircut. Hey, oh. cheerleader. My hair and I have been fighting brutes and marauders on the front lines of this war. Meanwhile, you got your big bubbly butt kicked by some guy with a sword. You see, Shepard? Best of friends. Honestly, I thought it might help if you two just kissed and got it over with. What? I mean, this is all just sexual tension, right? Dudes, <laughs> forceful personalities, confident in their sexuality. You are shitting me. Oh my god. Do it! I'm ready to record. I'm pretty sure there's a market for this. Well, I guess we'll never know why people like Miranda so much, but overall, I gotta say, that body's rocking. And, uh, yeah, I'm smashing. She's one of the best smashes of all time. Of all time. Definitely will smash her. She's one of my uh, favorite romances as well. And <laughs> of course, she's gonna get the power pole from yours truly. So smash on Miranda Lawson all day in any position she wants. All right, guys, we're gonna end it here because this video is getting a lot longer than I thought it would be. And I really don't want to stretch it out for more than 30 minutes or so. So we're gonna be ending it here and doing a part two. So if you enjoyed this, hit that thumbs up like and subscribe and let me know who you smashed and passed on and i will see you all for part two next time and to all the ladies out there in the words of the great commander shepherd we're we're bang, okay, okay.